Hey guys, it's Kathleen with Thrifty Britches and I have got a huge, huge thrift haul for you. Lots and lots of good stuff for you to see. So I chose not to go sourcing this weekend because I went to see Karen and I went through her death pile. She has a considerable death pile, like much worse than mine. And so as we were going through things, I was finding so many good things. I'm like, the hell with this? I'm not gonna go sourcing, it's too hot anyway. I'm just gonna load down on Karen things and use those for a thrift haul. And lo and behold, I found so many things that it's probably gonna be two thrift hauls just because it's gonna take so long. Now, I have gone through some of the comps, but by no means have I gone through all of the comps. So anything that I really don't know what a good working comp is for, I will flash up there when I'm going through editing the video. I am a full-time school counselor and a part-time reseller, and I find undervalued things at yard sales and thrift stores and garage sales, and I try to flip them for a profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace sometimes. You know the drill. All right, guys, I'm gonna jump right into it because I got a ton of stuff. First off, picked up Battery Daddy. It is like this caddy for all your batteries. And um, it also has a battery tester. It is brand new, sealed in the package. And we paid only $1.99 for this at Goodwill. And I figure I can sell this probably right around the $20 to $25 mark. Okay. Picked up this Peppa Pig house. It is in perfect working order. The lights work and it talks. It comes with all these accessories. I saw one that sold with less accessories than this and it sold for $85. So I'm figuring I can probably get right around the $90, $95 mark for this. Okay, I am less sure about the value of the Peppa Pig van or camper or whatever. I am missing a couple of the accessories that go with it, but I'm still thinking $25, $30 for this. Now, what I'm wondering about is, I'm wondering if I should lock this up with the house and see. So I have to do a little bit more of a deeper dive into the comps to see, but that might be the route I'm going. Okay, a dollar a piece for each of these Tupperware measuring cups. This one is a complete set. This one looks like it's missing the one cup I think that's what it is, which is kind of a big deal, to be honest with you. This one may not sell as well at all. This one will probably bring about 10 to $12, but they sell very consistently, very good sell-through rate, usually a quick flip for me. All right, grabbed these two things. These are the Fisher-Price um, Real People or Family People, or from, I'll flash the name up there. I can't remember this stuff. My kids are too old. Um, but this makes noise. I haven't put the batteries in it and they go together in this little people house for Christmas or real people house, whatever it is. Anyway, these things sell pretty well, guys. If you find these even on your own, I would expect I would get around 15 to $20 just for these two pieces. If you find the people, even better. I grabbed this guy. He is Build-A-Bear, but Build-A-Bear Spider-Man. I have seen some of the YouTubers that I follow, especially Carly on Thrift Nice and Shell Bell as well, picking up these Build-A-Bears and also Kayla on Homeschooling Picker, which you know is my fan favorite. I love that channel. Um, and these things should get, sell fairly well, but I haven't looked up the comps yet. Same with this guy. I really just grabbed him because he's Disney. He came from, I think he came from the Disney parks because it doesn't say Disney store on him. Um, still have to do a little bit of research on him as well as this guy who is new with the tags, but he is a Starbucks guy. So he is a Starbucks collectible and um, I don't know if he's vintage or not, to be honest with you. I'm trying to find a year. Oh my gosh, he's vintage. He is from 2003 and hello new with tag so i will flash it up there when i find anything on him okay now if you remember from my thrift with me a couple weeks ago i picked up the mid-sized version of this lion now i have the small guy i was going to lot them together but to be honest with you this guy has got his tags on so i'm probably just going to keep him separately um karen picked all of these stuffed animals up at goodwill for 99 cents a piece 
this guy included. So even if I get 10 to $12, that's a win. Okay guys, that is it for hard goods. I am diving into the clothes. Grabbed a 38 double D Soma bra. It is with crisscross back and the lace detail in the front. Um, Karen grabbed this at a yard sale for a dollar and this should bring in probably somewhere around the 15 to $20 range. This is an adorable goose down filled um, Athleta, obviously a vest. It is in a size medium. Oops, you can't see that. There we go, medium. Super, super soft. Now there's one issue here. It has a grease stain on it. Now I took some Dawn to it just as a preliminary attempt. Can you see that? Yeah. Just in a preliminary attempt to get it out and I took some of it out, but not all of it. But I am definitely, definitely going to use my concoction. If you haven't tried my concoction for getting out stains, you need to write this down. One part peroxide, one part baking soda, one part Dawn, it takes out everything. Um, and along those lines, we found this gorgeous vintage Lily by Lily. Is that what it's called? It's called the Lily, 1960s version of this Lily Pulitzer dress. Adorable. Guys, these are a total bolo. These are selling for really big money, but this was covered in stains and it looked to be blood stains. And I took my concoction and look at this. I'm gonna flash pictures because I took pictures of what it looked like before I applied my concoction. And look at how nice it came, oh my gosh. Everything came out. Even like there were stains up here around the collar, everything came out. It's just beautiful. All I did was apply it with a toothbrush. I gently brushed it in and then I let it sit for about an hour and a half. And then I just ran it through the wash and it came out like this pristine. And so I'm gonna try that with the Athleta vest because that can be run through the wash. I just can't throw it in the dryer. So I'm gonna try that later on today. Um, the Athleta vest, I'm thinking will probably sell about 25 to $30, but this, this I'm gonna list high. I'm gonna list it at 175. It's hard to tell. There are some um, vintage 1960s Lily Pulitzer dresses that go for like in the 300s, but usually those are either a different fabric content, like they're 100% silk or something like that, or they have a lot of lace detail. So I'm kind of gonna go with a high start of 175 and just accept offers and see. I'm estimating though I should get at least $125 for this. And this was only $5 at an estate sale. Okay, y'all know I love Spanx. If you recall from a recent thrift with me, I went to a yard sale and they were selling pre-owned Spanx for $50. Here is a pair of brand new with the tag Spanx, extra large. Extra large, gorgeous, gorgeous olive color. Nice deep olive cover, color with four pockets. And these were only $10 at an estate sale. We snatched these suckers up. Probably going to get somewhere in the $90 to $100 range for these. Okay, these I've already steamed and photographed, hence the hanger. This is an Eileen Fisher 100% silk. I guess you would call it a sheath dress. This is also in a size large, whoops, size large, buttery, buttery soft, deep olive color. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely stunning. I am estimating somewhere around the $35 to $40 range for this. This was $3 at an estate sale. Okay, here is some more Lily Pulitzer. This is the Jackie, and it is 100% silk. So soft and beautiful. I tried and tried and tried to find the name of the pattern. If you know the name of this pattern, can you please list it in the comments for me? That would be super duper helpful. I literally fell down such a rabbit hole last night trying to get the name of the pattern, and finally I just had to say, you know what, F this, because this is never gonna get listed at this rate. But gorgeous, no pulls, no stains, nothing. Really, really pretty shell dress. I think I said it was in a size large. I'm figuring somewhere between $50 and $75. I still have to do a little bit more of a deeper dive on this, which seems to be the word of the day. 
Okay, this is my most exciting find. Men's Burberry Brit newest tags, y'all. Just about how to come apart. Karen grabbed this at a yard sale for $10. How gorgeous is this? And to make matters even better, it is in a size large. So yay us. I have it listed for, I want to say I did either $185 or $190, but I'm figuring I'm going to get somewhere in the $160 to $175 range for this. Just beautiful, has everything in place. So excited turning $10 into that. All right, I'm not going to show you all of them because they're all three the same, but these are figs, extra, extra large. Just three shirts. We got these in Goodwill, $5.99 a piece. Um, figs is a great brand to pick up. They really do have a fabulous sell through rate. Now, these don't have pictures on them or anything special like that, but nonetheless, I would still expect to get around $25 to $30 for each of those shirts. Okay, now Lulu isn't doing the same as she used to do for me, but I still like to pick her up nonetheless. And this is new with tags, a new with tags bathing suit. Karen got this for $10 at that same yard sale with the Burberry. And I figure I can probably get at least 60 to $75 for this. The sanitary strip is still in place and it originally retailed for $118. And I just thought it was really pretty. Again, with the deep olive, that seems to be a theme here today, but really pretty. And look at the back with this sheer kind of racer back look, just gorgeous. Grabbed this Athleta, size small, but new with tags. So this originally retailed for $69, just a long sleeve shell or a long sleeve pullover. And it has the thumb holes, which is, I don't know what it is about thumb holes, but I just love them. But just a cute little workout top. Probably going to get around 30 to 35 for that. Um, she grabbed that at a yard sale for $3. All right. This came from a thrift store. Karen has this little honey hole thrift store in town and this was on half price day. So all of their bathing suits are $6. So she paid $3 for this. It is in a size large and it is a gap fit bathing suit that is new with tags. So it, the tag doesn't have the price on it. I mean, gap isn't the same level obviously as Lululemon, but I still should get about $20 for this. And I've still been selling bathing suits, even though it's the end of the season, they're still moving for me. So not too late to get that listed. All right, Karen talks all the time about Eloquy. So Eloquy is apparently like a nicer version of Torrid, just kind of plus size clothes that are really, really nice. So I picked up two items out of her death pile to kind of give it a try. Now, one of them I noticed, I picked this up because of style, okay? So this is in a size 14, 16, and I loved all the bedazzling. This one rhinestone is hanging on by a thread, so I'm just gonna stitch it up, note it in the description. Um, this is one of the ones I haven't really looked at the comps for. I'm trusting her because she has a great barometer for this stuff. I don't know, $25, $30, I'll flash it up there though. Okay, I also watch the um, Common Tags, Courtney with Common Tags, and she sells aloe, A-L-O, all the time. I don't know that you can really see it because it's so faint. Okay, so these are a cute little pair of leggings. I picked up one other pair. Karen grabbed both of these pairs at um, Goodwill for $5.99 a pair. So this, I'm having trouble finding the size. I think it might be a small. Let's see if they do like Lululemon and put them inside. No, they don't. And it's not written on the tag that I can see, but they look to be about a, uh, probably a size small or medium. All right, next is the Callahan. This pair of Lily Pulitzer in a size two. Much prefer to get these shorts in bigger sizes, um, but these should still sell for around $15 or $18. And she picked them up at a yard sale for only a buck. Okay, this is Missoni and hooray because it is not Missoni by Target. Can grab this at Goodwill. This was $6.99. 
Um, and this is another one that I don't know what to expect because my understanding is that Missoni sells really high. The only thing that I've ever sold before is Missoni for Target, so I don't know. But it is looking to me like a size small. No, they have it as a medium. Um, so I'll have to look a little bit closer and see, but really, really pretty. It does have a few pulls down the front, but I thought I could try to pull them through from the back. Just one, then there's another one further down. Um, but I love the gold and the pink together. Just a really pretty piece. Okay, I like to pick up vintage Victoria's Secrets. This is not. This is new Victoria's Secret in a size medium, but hey, it has still got the tags on. So this originally sold for 50 bucks. Just super pretty. Glimmery and shimmery and all the things. A pretty teddy. Probably going to get somewhere around the $25 mark for that. I grabbed these two ruffle butts bathing suits, and then this one is a two-piece. Both are in a size 2T. Both are in excellent condition, and I'm going to lot them together, and I'm estimating I will get right around the $25 to $30 mark for the two bathing suits. Okay, here's another pair of the Callahan shorts. This one is in a much better size, in a size 10. Really, really pretty pattern. These were actually only $4.99 at Goodwill. These should sell right around the $15 to $20 mark. Here is the other Eloquy that I'm giving a try to. This is a size 22. I don't think it's silk. I feel like it's a little too shiny to be silk, but you might as well check, right? Let's say, what is it? Nope, poly spandex. So this one is new with tags, I believe. Let's say, yes. New with tags, this is another one that um, came from Karen's Honey Hole. So it was six bucks and she got it on half price day because that's the only day she goes. It's half price day, so she only paid $3 for this. Great deal. This is another pair of aloe um, leggings. So, um, and this one has it on the side as well. Let's see if I have more luck finding the size here. Nope. I don't know where they have the size. If you know where the sizes are in aloe leggings, please drop it in the comments so I can solve this mystery. But these look to be right around a small or a medium, really good shape. Aloe, um, I've never sold before, so I'm really not entirely sure what to expect. I'm guessing maybe the 30 to $35 range because Courtney seems to sell them high. I have never come across a pair of Lily Pulitzer leggings before. Um, these are in a size extra large, and they're a little bit well-loved, but how cute are they? They are so adorable. I would think, and look, they have the lily right on the side. So, um, I don't know, maybe $20 for these. She got these at, um, I can't remember if she got these at an estate sale or at a yard sale, but they were less than $5. Okay, this I can't remember where Karen got. She has had this sucker for so long. It is a size extra large Dale Earnhardt racing jacket. So not in my wheelhouse. I've never sold anything like this, but Karen said, oh, I swear to you, they sell, they sell. So I will flash the comps up there so that you know what I have found because I haven't even had a chance to dip my toe in the pool yet, but I have learned to trust her judgment. Another new to me brand, Lundstrom. But this is a nice wool coat. We're getting ready to go into the winter time. So I don't mind picking up some coats. They take up a heck of a lot of room in the old inventory. Um, so I like to price them so that they sell pretty fast. This one is gonna definitely require some time with my sweater shaver because it's a little bit pilled, um, like the other thing. And I will flash the comps up there when I find them. Okay, this is just bread and butter for us, lands in, size 1X, you know, just for layering during the winter time, really color, pretty color green, probably about $15 to $20 on this. Next, I have this Cavu purse. I just recently listed a Cavu purse, and um, it was more like a backpack, kind of like a sling pack. This is more of a messenger bag. And it sold really, really quickly for right under the $30 mark. 
So um, I have to look and see what messenger bags go for, or crossbodies, or whatever you want to call this. But I thought it was really cute, and it's in great condition. I mean, it hardly looks used at all. Look at the bottom, and the, you know the corners don't have any damage to them at all. So hopefully between 20 and 25 for this. I love to sell polo, especially polo that has still got the tags on. So this originally retailed for 40 bucks. Cute little boy's shirt. Great piece to wear back to school. This is a size eight. Probably will get somewhere between 15 and $20 for this. Karen Greg, this at a yard sale for $2. Okay, another Torrid piece. This is a size three. Really cute bloom where you are planted. Just a nice flowy little tunic. Karen got this for three bucks at her little honey hole thrift store. Okay, this is another favorite. I don't, I don't know why because I haven't looked up the comps, but it is a gold label Victoria's Secret little teddy in a size small, but it is 100% silk. And it's just so pretty and feminine and delicate. I just love it. I love how silky and frilly it is and how nice it moves. Gorgeous, just beautiful. I'm thinking because it's gold label and it's in such great condition and it's 100% silk, I'm hoping between $25 and $30 for this. We got two Life is Good shirts, new with tags, at a yard sale for four bucks a piece. I liked this one because it's Christmas themed um, and long sleeves and that will definitely move in the um, winter time. And this one is a size medium in a t-shirt. Life is Good does okay for me. Um, usually I can move it, not everything sells, but I have always managed to sell the new with tag stuff. Probably gonna get about $15 for the long sleeve, and I would expect between 12 and 15 for the short sleeve. Okay, don't know what to expect for this, but I do like Bowden, and this is a really nice, warm little jacket. It is in a size... It is in a U.S. size 12, so that must be 12 kids. So, oh my God, it's so soft. You all have no idea. This is so stinking soft. Um, Karen grabbed this at her honey hole. I'm not sure. The, the coats don't go for $6, so this was probably somewhere around $5 or $6 um, on the half price day, but really, really pretty in awesome condition, hardly any fading. I would expect this would go for about $30. This is a new to me brand. This is Robert Barraquette. May be pronouncing that wrong. Um, just, I thought it was a nice piece. I liked the gray color, the blue gray color. I liked that it was a V-neck long sleeves and I wanted to try out the brand. Okay, Torrid. I do love some Torrid. So this is a smaller size Torrid, size 00, but look at how pretty. This is Goodwill, obviously, $5.99. Probably would get around $18 to $20 for this. Grabbed this and Taylor, and I think this is cashmere. What does it say? No, merino wool. 100% merino wool. I loved everything about it. I loved the color. I loved the little detail around the neck. I loved that it's merino wool. Now, some things that I pick up that are 100% merino wool sell really, really high. I don't think Ann Taylor's gonna be one of them. Okay guys, well, sadly, the rest of my footage, um, that was really just the closing. Um, I got sucked up into my GoPro. I don't know what I do sometimes. I have no idea where that footage went, but here I am at professional development in my hotel room filming the closing. So you know how the drill goes. As always, if you like what you see, if thrifting content is your jam, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, throw us some comments down below, and looking forward to seeing you guys again next time. I think I'm gonna try and do a what sold video next time because it's been a hot minute since I've done that. All right guys, I will see you next time, bye.